Here I have the letter S. I want to inflate the letter S from top to bottom. I want the inflation to transition from the top to the bottom using the vertex map. So right click to create the vertex map, right click, go to other tags and choose vertex map. Now a vertex map is just the selection of polygons. When the uh, color is red, that means no polygons are selected. When the color is yellow, that means uh, the polygon is fully selected. When the color is uh, in between, that is orange, that, that means that the polygon is partially selected, so partially influenced. I don't want to use the brush tool uh, to select polygons instead let's do control z and uh, i'll use fields so select the uh, vertex map tag again and check use fields i will add a spherical field now uh, the freeze layer holds the current value of the of the selection of the polygons which is not selected so i don't want that i want the selection to grow so i'll select the freeze and change the mode to grow now this will be mixed with the spherical field. Let's press T to get to the uh, scale tool and reduce the size of the of the spherical field and put it at the top. Now if you play the animation uh, and touch the uh, letter with the spherical field, you'll see the transition goes from the top to the bottom. But it is very fast, so let's go back and select the freeze uh, layer again and the radi radius uh, decides how close polygons should be to each other in order to be selected this is 10 centimeters which is fine and uh, but I'll reduce the effect strength which is the speed basically to 50 percent now this is just a selection of polygons I want the, to inflate this letter so to do that I'll right click go to simulation and add cloth and if you play the animation, you'll see the letter immediately falls. That's because of gravity. So we have to turn off gravity. So Control D and go to um, simulation and then scene and then zero out the gravity. Now, if you play the animation, the letter stays in place, but it's still uh, in the uh, the cloth tag is still applied to it. So select the tag again. Then in the balloon option, check balloon change the overpressure to 5 this will uh, inflate the whole balloon immediately we don't want that uh, double click we don't want that we want to use the vertex map that we just created to inf influence the uh, inflation of the balloon of the letter so select the tag again and add the vertex map we just created in the map option now pr play the animation and select the spherical field and just touch the top of the letter you'll see that the uh, letter inflates immediately but it goes everywhere so we don't want that we want it to maintain uh, its position relative relative to the inflation so to do that select the tag again go to mix animation and check with pins if uh, the influence is 100 percent that means even the inflate the inflation itself won't happen because the polygons will be in their original uh location so just reduce it to something like 20 or uh, less and now if you play the animation again select the spherical field and touch the tip of the letter s you'll see that the letter s inflates and this is how you inflate uh, meshes using um, this uh, using uh, vertex map